Well, the first thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to use a roller and I'm going to just gently roll around the outside because I like to cover the boards. So I'm just dipping into the paint, just turning, um, just to get a little bit of uh, color on, or a little bit of the white paint onto the um, edge of the boards. You go straight in like that. Let's just put that onto there. I do this very often uh, in prep um, because I do like white. It's not always necessary to have white. In fact, a lot depends on the subject that you're um, painting. Um, but when I'm using acrylics, you, you can buy canvases, um, you can buy prime boards. Um, but to be honest with you, uh, I find this um, not a bad option. Um, you know, you get a nice finish to them and uh, quite uh, quite adequate for what um, for personally I, uh, I need, to be quite honest with you. A tad more required, this edge. Make certain it's a it's a nice clean uh, layer, you know. Uh, I have used um, have actually put sand with the um, uh, paint with the emulsion, so you know that can give it nice texture. Um, but in this instance, um, it's drying very very quickly, which is very useful. And then I'm just going to run around the edges like that. just around the edges there just so I get a bit of color because I, I want to completely um, roll in the complete uh, board with color because I don't want the color I don't want any white areas unprimed because if you do when it dries it it's not always perfect to, always best to get a prime over the complete area of the board. And that is my first board prime. And all we're going to do now is to go on and continue the priming process on one side. We're going to allow that to dry and then we're going to prime um, the other side. Hi everyone, well I'm all set up here for a, another painting session uh, tomorrow morning um, but um, I'm using acrylics and I'm going to paint onto a board um, it will be a scene of North Norfolk um, and uh, there are one or two specific requirements um, that I need to put in um, this is my setup for this acrylic painting um, I've got all my tubes um, uh, lined up. I'm only going to use a small number of colours, uh, white, uh, titanium white, um, raw sienna, uh, vermilion, that's the colour, red, and the cobalt blue at this stage. But obviously as I get painting we will see how it goes. I have the board as I um, uh, have uploaded. Uh, a video of me preparing the board um, and that's a basic outline of the subject but it may vary as I as I paint so let me run you through this um, this lovely acrylic on board well here we go then just move my stool out the way and first thing I'm going to do is select a brush it's going to be quite a large brush I've got all my paints and I damp that just like just slightly just to uh, give it a bit of moisture and remove a little bit onto a um, board there okay now the first thing I'm going to do is pick off a little white a touch of blue and a merest touch of red and just test to see what that sort of color is brilliant that's fine right now we mix loads of that paint together 
plenty of white, plenty of blue. Obviously you always use more white than blue and a touch of red. Because that's the sort of blue sky I'm looking for. It's a specific blue sky. And let's just sweep that across like that. I've taped all around the board. So um, there we go. Sweep that right the way across. There you go. That's perfect. Remove some from the brush by pushing hard on the board. Always a good thing to do. And just keep that fairly smooth at this stage. A little more white. You do use a lot of white when you're painting with oils. Um, and I'm remixing because it doesn't hurt to pick up a, a slightly different colour here and there. See the way I'm using the brush to indicate a bit of movement, possibly cloud work, wispy cloud work in this linear painting. It's long and narrow. There we go. Bit of red in there now. There we go. And most of this comes fairly well down and then it gets quite light as it comes down so it's darker above lighter in the lower area That's it. you know acrylic has has a real um, advantage in some ways um, over watercolor but I just love both um, Pure watercolour for its um, transparency um, and its speed, you know. Um, always nice to, have, to um, be able to um, have that lovely sort of transparency when you paint onto paper. But of course, this also has its uh, qualities. Right, we're coming down and we have a low horizon, very light, slightly cream. So I've used a little bit of raw sienna there, just, just to give a slightly cream feel to that distance. And the good thing about just a hair from the brush there, just try and lose that. Not re you know, I want this to be fairly, um, oh, well, there you go. I'll pick that off very shortly. So there you go. A nice bit of cream in the very distant area of the um, uh, of the sky. And that is the first part of the sky complete. Now I've just added a little bit more blue and a bit of the yellow because I want, if I can get a clean sweep that could very well be my distant water I think I'll have water in this there we go nice sort of water sort of color Here we are. nice clean wash of water color right now I'm coming into the beach area so we're picking up more white, more yellow, and that will be sort of area there, gradually coming in to this beach area. Nothing too yellow at this stage. Try to remove some of the paint on the palette, and a bit more white, a bit more yellow. I like them streaks of sort of yellow there. And as you paint the foot, you know, you're you're using what happens. See there's a lovely streak there. Well I'm leaving that in. I'm not uh, I'm not playing with that. And uh, then as we come forward, 
I'm adding a little bit of red to that just to give it a bit more warmth because quite often these beach areas do appear slightly on the warmer side so a bit of yellow a bit of red a bit more white and there you go not worrying about the the linear effect that I probably will put in shortly there we are and then we're going quite light here now and quite quite strong in in color in yellowy to get that feel of that beach there and we're going to the end there just keep that brush the same way up that lovely beach area there perfect and then a similar sort of feel I'm going to need my mill stick for this because I want this to be um, fairly neatly put in that's that beach area there that runs to the end of that uh, forest area it's potentially Holcomb Bay which um, is uh, a, a place that I know very well up on the North Norfolk coast and go up there quite a lot because it is a wonderful area for the artist to um, to enjoy really as well as paint just pulling that down like that there we go and uh, yeah I think we'll call that a day for now now I'm trying to use a, a, a or trying to give a fern of a little bit of water just coming sort of into this sort of area here spreading out into the foreground and that gives us a lovely introduction to that uh, just pulls the eye in to the picture and that's the idea when you design your pictures and your landscapes see the way that that pulls your eye into the picture now I always like to use the large brush as much as possible but there is times when you need to change down a bit but I'm going to put in some cloud work now so it's a bit of plenty of white touch of blue but not too much mainly white with a little bit of red remembering this probably is still a little damp so that potentially is the underside of the clouds one major cloud I think that suits the scene quite well all right so that's that now all of a sudden wipe a bit of paint off the brush and then pick up some pure white and touch that in as some wispy cloud there and then we smooth that down again remove plenty of paint need to get put a bit of blue with that just yeah and we have final touches on the top of that 
but basically we're going to have one cloud sticking just pulling up like that a bit of a dome to the top of that a bit more white needed brilliant then that cloud I'm just going to show a bit in this water so the water will get a little bit lighter not much perhaps a bit more than that just to show where that cloud is a touch more white and that Ooh, touch more white let's go that's it we need a bit of rippling that's it. that's better now I'm using a much smaller flat um, just to get a little bit of the beach area along there just to show off a little bit of light that's it. Where is a bit of land? Clean that up in my water. Always keep your brushes moist with acrylic, otherwise they dry out and then they're no more use. Now in the distance there we've got a very cool blue again. Um, almost purpley blue, so a bit of red with the cobalt. Um, a little bit darker now this is going to show up a bit of strength not too much at this stage but it is a distant area and it's um, like a, a wooded land area see it needs to be darker than that so no white plenty of blue a bit of red it's probably more like it And that's a distant, lots of pine forests in um, Norfolk. And that's what I'm trying to depict here. Nice bit of a pine forest. Let's not be too fussy with that. And it gets extremely dark. Just gives a sense of us coming nearer to us, really, a bit more, bit more colour, yes, less white. at that point there just before it gets to the real darker area there and then we just clean that brush again and just used it use it slightly damp just to marry those two together there we go beautiful right now we don't take any white just blue and red with a touch of the yellow in there mainly blue and red because this has got to pack a punch and this is the pine forest that's somewhat nearer to us somewhat closer So we'll put that in, in quite a dark way. Then we add a little bit more yellow to that, a little bit more blue, because I'm trying to pick up a bit of a greeny hint to it at this stage. And I'm using the side of the brush to show. And you can see depth there, where it's more blue there. And it's much green there, much greener. So it just tells us that that area comes closer to us, nearer to us. It is a pine forest, but there's a bit of everything going on there. A bit more yellow, a bit more blue, no white in this. The yellow lightens the colour. I always put highlights in, of course, um, later on. There we go, 
and as you work your way out of picture it needs to get less intense so we're looking for less on the brush a bit more gappy if that's a technical word for it I think gappy so like covers it really as it goes out of picture it gets less less important it's far less important as it goes out of picture so a bit more lighter effect and that is the pine forest running across the back and then of course there is the land that it sits on and I'm just using that brush just to pull that across like that. Just to blend that through. And then finally, right on the end, there will be some real dark stuff. Hope I can get this dark because I don't want to use any other colour really if I can help a nice bit of warm red gone in there because that's what I want to depict right on that end there there we go just one or two little touches of that along that bottom edge and where that land just sticks out it just sticks out a little bit there. Okay, remove loads from the brush. And two, that's it. Just remove loads from the brush and pull that through. There we are. That's the effect I'm looking for. So that we're getting sort of like a, a feeling of underneath parts of that pine forest. Now I'm going to add um, a little bit more light on the clouds. Pure white with this smaller brush. Titanium white wants to be strong enough to pick up the cloud shape. Begin the cloud in cloud there. There we are. And then there again, clean the brush, remove a lot of the paint and then we blend that in to suit the shape of the clouds and quite often the tops of those clouds have a bit of yellowing about them so that we don't pick up any other colour than we need and that is more or less this sort of colour really, I think. Just gives it, helps to give it a glow, I think. I always put a little bit of yellow in, touch small parts of the cloud. Brilliant. Just the finishing touches. Well, I did mention finishing touches and uh, they've got to be put in very, very carefully um, purely because, um, you know, we don't want to lose the, the simplicity of it. And I think really um, there will be, we need a couple of figures of some sort uh, strategically placed and I would have thought somewhere there would be nice. And these are just going to be um, a bit of bl ready blue colour just to attract the eye. I'm using a rigger for this because it's such fine detail because of the size 
of those fir trees we need to make certain that we're got two figures there together another little one on its own go there they are and then of course they need something to 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 actually seat them onto the beach so we're going to pull in some lighter color just where they stand like that that's all you need for figures on the beach and finally it's goals in the sky um, and they would be quite small perhaps somewhere there just a hint at a cluster there like that And then while we have this blue, I want to just sit that the area there with some little bits and pieces going on there. Just so as it's a little bit darker perhaps. Just want some interest. just at that point clean the brush as always a bit of moisture just to set those into the beach just softening that's nice it's just picked up a bit of added color there brilliant let me take the surround away and then I'll just sign up. Well, I've taken away the surround. Um, so that is basically the finished work. Uh, signed up in the bottom right hand corner. So, you know, really a lot of these things, it's simplicity that makes it work. Uh, it's not all about lots of things going on. And uh, I'll just pan up to the sketch that I worked to. So it's, um, you know, it's a variation of that. But as you can see, I've used that variation to, uh, to my advantage as an artist, really. And that's the thing you can do if you're an artist. You can uh, change things and alter things. Uh, and I think that one came off as a very fast acrylic uh, quite well. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that look at me painting acry acrylic uh, on board. Um, it's obviously of North Norfolk, my one of my favourite parts of um, the world, really. Um, although I haven't seen a great deal of the world, but um, in this particular area, there is everything. There's large skies, um, pine forests, and this is taken uh, from a view um, near Holcomb Bay so no doubt lots of you have been there if you've enjoyed that video please subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, click the link bottom right hand corner and uh, you'll receive notifications when I upload uh, more videos so take care happy painting and get those acrylics out see you soon bye mm -hmm.